Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 46 of my self connection challenge. During my meditation today, I got like a step by step process of how to work through these heavy grids that we're clearing, these, this heavy density that's coming through. Um, during my meditation, I just, I received some really like step, good step by step insight that I want to share with you guys. I wrote it down because I really, um, I didn't want to forget it. And so it's like a, it's like a four step process. The first step is to not take yourself so seriously. I get caught up in this all the time when I working through the inner process of awakening, healing wounds, clearing density. I, I sometimes will take myself too seriously and this can really slow down our process of clearing and releasing the old and integrating the new grids because what it does is it, it really gives life to that inner critic. It really gives life to that, to that feeling like we're doing this wrong or we're, you know, we're, we haven't made any progress. We're right back where we started. And, and so when we, and when we take ourselves too seriously on the spiritual path, we take things too personally because ultimately this is a very impersonal experience. You're not really waking up, you know, just for your spiritual ego. You're waking up for the collective. You're waking up so that new earth can birth through you for everybody, for the one. And when we get our, when we get too serious, sometimes we can lose sight of that. Sometimes we can lose sight of the greater good of, of why we're waking up in the first place, of, of why we are unlocking new earth grids within us in the first place. And so that's a huge one. It's something my spiritual teacher asked me. He goes, Matt, do you take yourself too seriously? And at first, <laughs> in the conversation, I was like, no, I don't think so. I'm pretty easygoing. But then I asked my best friend who I was living with. I was like, do I take myself too seriously? And she just started laughing. <laughs> I was like, of course. So of course we all do this sometimes and it's okay, but that's the first step is just kind of just lighten up and, and don't take yourself so seriously. Step number two, which is kind of a two and three work together. I'll show you how. So step number two is cultivate a relationship to your pain. Cultivate a relationship to the density, to the old grids that are clearing. A lot of times when we're in a lot of pain, it's of course trying to teach us something. So if, if we can ask the pain, what do you want? What do you need? It will tell us if, if we can receive it. If we can, we're not receiving the answer through the head, through the thinking mind. We're receiving the answer through, through the openness of the body, through the intelligence of the body, through the heart, through a, you could even call it like a, a subconscious re receiving. And like what my pain had been saying the last few days was love me more. And I kept saying, but I've been loving you. I've been loving you more every single day. I've, I've given you all the love I can. And the pain kept saying to me, yes, but love me more. And, and here's point number three and how it ties in. If we're finding it hard to love our pain, if we're finding it hard to open our heart to the density that's clearing, to the old grids that are, that are, that are clearing, this is an indication that, you know, we're in judgment. So ask yourself, what judgments do I have? Because judgments will keep our heart closed and judgments will keep us from being able to love that which is arising within us. So whether it's a judgment to someone else that you feel like wronged you or hurt you, or this is especially common with us, with us uh, people birthing new earth, we can be really judgmental to ourselves. And that kind of built on point one of taking ourselves so seriously. So if we're really judgmental to ourselves, if we're condemning ourselves, if we're, you know, beating ourselves up about mistakes, we're not letting go of things we think we messed up with, if we're not giving ourselves forgiveness, then, it, then we're not going to be able to open our heart to, to the density that's clearing, to the pain that's arising. If someone has hurt us and we're closing our heart down because of that pain, because we're too afraid to feel, know that when you guard your heart, you know, like I said before, when you guard your heart to one person, you guard your heart to everybody. When you close your heart to one person, you close your heart to everybody. 
And that includes you close yourself, you close your heart to yourself and the pain that you're feeling. So that's key. What judgments do you have? And can you release all of your judgments, all of them? Because new earth is, is about evolving out of duality, evolving out, about, out of right and wrong, good and bad, us versus them. New earth is all about evolving into unified consciousness. And the, and the only way we can get from duality to unification is letting go of judgment. And through letting go of judgment, you will be able to love your pain to the depth that it needs to be loved so that it can be integrated and released. And the last point, point number four, is know that some pain, it's like the, the, a beautiful metaphor is like it's, it's an iceberg. And some, it's like a little chunk of ice and it just kind of melts away and evaporates you know, in 15 to 20 minutes of sitting with it in silence. Sometimes we can just sit and listen to the silence and pain will just melt away in, in, in not that amount of time at all. But sometimes we hit a dense, really huge iceberg that's really deep inside of us. And, and, it, and it can take hours. Sometimes we have to sit with this iceberg as it just as as we show source it as we shine our light of awareness on it as we sit with it in compassion and love and openness as we allow this iceberg of pain to come up and and and, and source just melts it for us we might have to sit with it for hours because it's saying i still need more love i still have something to teach you and that's okay that's a beautiful sign actually that's a very positive sign that you are freeing yourself of more density than ever. That after you let go of this heavy grid of this, you know, all of this um, unresolved karma and unconsciousness, that you're going to have more space within you than ever. More space within you to birth something that you've never been before. Like something that, you know, something new is going to emerge through you. A newer a newer and higher level of consciousness, a newer level of understanding, a more, a more fearless light worker it will emerge through that clear density. And sometimes we have to sit with that density, that huge iceberg for weeks. This can be the case, especially the longer we go on our awakening journey, the deeper in we go in, inside and, and the deeper we go, sometimes we find we hit a spot where like, oh, that's something major. But like I said, this is such an opportunity because when you clear this, like the, the universe can, can more fully expand through you. The universe can birth new consciousness through you. New earth grids have more space, you know, have more freedom to become activated because you've cleared all of that dormant, you know, all of that. Um, you, first of all, you've cleared a lot of density and that activates dormant DNA. It activates... It activates like these, um, these just these higher knowings can come through because now you are a clearer vessel. You're a clearer conduit for source to exp express through. You know, you. It's just such an opportunity when we're when we are finding ourselves having to show up day after day with that same density, with that same pain, and it just seems like it won't clear. But know that this is beautiful. This is divine. And the key here is to really cultivate patience for yourself and to know that you're not doing anything wrong and that this is, this is beautiful and that this is the work and that all that's required, literally, it's actually easy. All you have to do is sit and listen to silence. That's all. You can just allow the silence to melt these icebergs of density, to melt these old, you know, grids and all this unconsciousness and karma. You literally can just give it to the silence. You give your burdens, you give your grids to the silence. And the silence gives you the universe. The silence births new, births new earth through you. The silence expands through you. And all you have to do is sit there and listen and give the silence your burdens. Sit there and listen and allow and surrender. That's it. And I know sometimes I've been going through it. You show up day after day after day and you're like, okay, pain, what do you need today? And the pain's like, more love. And you're like, I'm loving you so much. <laughs> I, 
you're taking me to my limit of love. And that's the point. These, this pain is helping us to expand how much we can love. Oh, I'm getting so many goosebumps. The pain is helping us to expand how much we can love. <sighs> can you feel that? Can you feel how your pain is helping you to expand how much you can love yourself? And that, that love you're cultivating for yourself, that it's going to just radiate outwards and it's going to help other people expand how much they can love themselves. And so that's why this pain is here. It's here to serve us. It's here to help us. It's here to teach us how to love unconditionally. It's here to teach us how to let go of our judgments. It's here to teach us not to take ourselves so seriously. <laughs> And it's here to teach us to cultivate a relationship with the things that we want to push away, with the things that we've always suppressed. And when we can do those things, then new earth has a conduit <laughs> to birth, to, to, to expand through, to express through, to live through. And, and then you start experiencing new earth. It's a beautiful process. You're all such beautiful beings. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so filled with gratitude for every one of you. And my heart is just so warm with love for all of you. Namaste.